Residents of a Beverly Hills neighborhood were horrified to find anti-Semitic literature placed in their yards sometime overnight. Adding insult to injury, it's the first night of Hanukkah. Jessica O oh is live tonight with more. Jessica. Susan, the fact that this happened on the first day of Hanukkah is just disheartening to the Jewish community here. We're told hundreds of those flyers spouting racist conspiracy theories were handed out in the northeast part of the city early this morning. Those flyers were specifically targeting Jewish people. Just take a look at what they said. We're told those flyers were handed out actually in plastic bags filled with rice for weight. They were then thrown into people's yards. We know this has happened in several neighborhoods in the northeast part of the city. And there's a lot of random racist information on those flyers with those headlines reading. Every single aspect of the COVID agenda is Jewish. And tonight, the Jewish community of Beverly Hills is responding by coming together. Instead of lighting the menorah at home like many would usually do, dozens of people came to the steps of City Hall tonight to light this in solidarity. They want whoever's responsible to know that these hate-filled messages will not bring people down. But still, many people told us it was so alarming to hear that these flyers were being anonymously handed out in the first place. There is no rational reason for this kind of prejudice, this kind of bigotry. It is not founded on anything that makes any sense at all. They went into all different types of things of blaming Jews for corona, blaming Jews for every type of ill that's around the world, and singling the Jews out here in Beverly Hills. So all too often, Beverly Hills has been a target for various sorts of hate crimes, and, and we won't tolerate it in Beverly Hills. And here's the thing. One of the rabbis told us that he has seen an uptick in incidents like this in Beverly Hills, which he says is very concerning. We know that police are continuing to look into this, trying to find out whoever is responsible, but they're asking that anyone with the information also give them a call. Reporting live in Beverly Hills tonight, Jessica O, Fox 11 News.